Every 1300 years, a camera company will release a lens worth buying, and unfortunately for us, those times are few and far between. Most of us are dead by the time we realize our perfect lens. Are any of them worth buying? Let's talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. What you are witnessing right now is a three-dimensional pop factor, Zeiss-related in its abilities. You can tell that I'm here and that stuff is back there due to the microanalysis. You know what's funny? I'm trying to sell this lens just because I think 20 mil is good enough for me and it's like, why have both? They're so close. Imagine thousands of dollars for two different primes four millimeters apart. I'm a moron. So I'm trying, nobody wants it though. What the hell? Deal of the century available. Nobody wants it. So now that I'm Fujiless, debates are swarming around in the old noggin. Should I get another camera? What kind? And it got me thinking, you get your lens first. If you're thinking, like say you have no gear whatsoever, and you're thinking, what should I get? Canon, full frame, I don't know. Pick your lens and then the pieces of the puzzle will fall into your lap like a dog. For example, when the Canon EOS R was first released, you had not a lot of lens options. I mean, they came out with some bangers. 15 to 35, it's like, holy shit. And then like 50 mil 1.2 and the 28 to 70 Tony 2, like, wow. They went for wow factor, but practicality, like there wasn't a lot of options, especially for wide angle and vlogging hobo shit. So you couldn't really, like you liked the Canon R. It's like, okay, you're a little crippled. Oh, I swear to God, every time I just, I was gonna get to the compliments. You didn't even know the beneficial words coming to your company, but you jumped in here with the threats. Enough of this shit. Canon's great. That's one of the systems I'm debating buying. I'm gonna replace my Fuji with a Canon if you leave. The reason I haven't pounced on the purchase is because Canon autofocus lacks behind Sony and their color science has fallen. <laughs> How could you hit a man with glasses? So I want to talk about each system. What is the magic lens they each have that would get you into that system? And just the takeaway from this video should be look at your lens first. Pick the lens like, oh, that's my dream lens. And then the body this doesn't matter as much as the lens as we'll see. If you're a Nikon fanboy, the, I was looking through their Z lineup, and I'll be honest with you, I cried. As of right now, there's only one magical lens that Nikon has. You wouldn't buy into the Z system for their lenses. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're the best of their kind. 35mm 1.8 is probably better, sharper, more pleasing, more cinema-like than the Sony or Canon but heavier, expensive, and it's the same thing. Like they have nothing unique, kind of, barely. I moved you closer to emphasize how special this lens was to my heart region. The Noct, that's your lens. You wanna get into Nikon, you buy that $18,000 lens. It's a 58 mil, not even one Tony in your house. If you have a Tony ban, that still, it slides. It's 0.95th of a one. -th. That, that's good times. You you can't get that look on any other system. Nikon just went for it. They're like, you know what? Let's make the best lens ever made. I know it's gonna use all the glass in our houses. We have to donate our windows, but we can make this thing. Let's make it happen. The separation you get on that thing, sharp, wide open. You'll never be in focus if you had it, but so what? The one time, the one video a year you're in focus, that's the one that'll matter. I want that lens so bad, I would get it. The Nikon Z, you gotta go C6 too to save some of the money because you had to mortgage like your neighbor's house to pay for this thing. But then you get that, you need a, a, an external monitor, Atomos Ninja 5, bring it up. Ninja V, Ninja Vagina. Your mom's a Ninja Vagina. You get that thing, boom, focus peaking, don't ever lean the magic. Can you imagine how your living room would look in that lens? If I was vlogging, I might get the 20mm 1.8, but 
It's like I already have it for the Sony, so it's like getting that for the Nikon. Uh, same thing, but heavier. Yeah, it might be more stable. Maybe. And the 14 to 30, Tony 4, kind of unique when it comes to Sony. Like, what special lens do they have that would get you into their full frame system? I think that 20 mil, 1.8, that's a special lens. It's light, super tone, fairly stable if you're careful. It's a good lens. It's a good lens, man. It's sharp. The autofocus is reliable. It breathes a little bit on you. That coffee breath. Can't avoid that. But it's a good lens. And yeah, the Nikon has it, but it's heavier. And no one else has it. Seems Canon doesn't have it. Panasonic is trying to have it. We'll get to them. They're trying to outdo it. It's just your do-it-all lens. You can have it in the studio. You can take it for a vlog. You can work out videos. Like, it, there's nothing it can't do. Fantastic all-around jack horse lens. That's what they call those. 24mm G Master. Canon has the EF lens. Nobody else has that thing. And it's a special look. That's a special lens. I want it, kind of. But I went with this one instead. And I regret every second of it. That's a special lens. You might get into the system just for that lens. I know people who have killed their wives. The 55mm, 1.8. I said, just a beaut, that thing's over there. I wish I was on it right now. You can't beat that thing. It's a unique, nobody has a 55 mil. It's a Zeiss, it has the pop factor, a 1.8, and it's super light. Doesn't breathe too hard on you. That's a magic lens. Like, that's my favorite lens. For any look, it's just, you gotta pay some time to set it up. And I did the same thing here. That bullshit. I've never tried the Zeiss 50mm 1.4. Tell me down below if it's better than the 55 somehow. If it is, you know I'll pounce. Ah, uh, 50 is my favorite focal length. I've It's a sweet spot. When it comes to Canon, that's 16mm 2.8. Even though it's the most horseradish dollar store bargain basement lens, so many corners were cut in half on that thing. If you see the raw photos, it's it's like a 12 mil lens fisheye, and then somehow they correct it. Just the worst. The focus breathing is like half the whole screen. It's painful. Chromatic aberrations everywhere. It just looks cheap. It's bad. Doesn't mean I don't want it. That thing is lighter than anything you got on the wide. We're talking GoPro. Canon RP 60 mil 2.8. It will look cheap. Don't try to impress anybody with it, but like you'll save arm strength. You could hold that thing if you were vegan. Before that lens, the only wide option was the 15 to 35, so heavy, and then they came with the 14 to 35, but the thing is a Tony 4 and still so expensive and pretty heavy. Like it's still really heavy. Ah, you're not gonna vlog with that thing. 14 mils too wide anyway. 16 mil, that's a perfect little thing. Also the 100 to 500, that's a unique lens. Nobody has it. That's a decent range. You can use teleconverters if you're that kind of freak. You hop trains and shit to get to your aunt's house. You're a weirdo with your sack on a broomstick. But like, that's a bird lens right there. And it's like, it's not too small. They sacrifice a little Tony 7, but that's enough. I was happy with the Tony 11, that thing. And those, I didn't even write those down. The 600 mil and 800 mil, those are unique. I would think, I think I'd go for the 600. I've tried the 800, you should extend that thing out. It's too big, it's a freak thing. 600 might be just enough. I've had enough of this bullshit lensless switch. For the love of peanut butter sandwiches, my God, the Voidy Lander has blessed us once more. A Tony 1.2 if it was a foot. When we move on to Fuji, who is dead to me. Not even one Fuji piece of shit in this house. Thank God. 16mm 1.4, that's your lens. Even though it's... The autofocus motors sound like bats fighting each other who, who gets to their sister. The problem is it's not really unique. It's a beautiful lens, but Sigma has their 16mm 1.4. It's the same thing for many other systems, for Canon, Sony, that's it. That's not many, that's two. 
That's a good lens. I don't know what's better, like what's sharper, the Sigma. I bet the Sigma will autofocus smoother and quieter. It's a bit heavier, but uh, it's a nice lens for Fuji. It has that, it has the closest focusing distance you've ever seen in your life and the wow factor, not quite. No 3D pop like what you're seeing here with the Voidilander. Technically their 18 mil 1.4 is better, like they updated it, but it's an 18 mil, who cares? 27, who buys that as a prime? Street weirdos, hey, can you put on this clown suit that I brought? Here. You're just holding it in your hand. How come you didn't put the suit on? I made it. Where are you going? Why are you running away with my suit? Oh, that cost everything I had to make. Will you, can I email you the picture? Will you mail me the suit back at least? If it was me, Fuji X-H2 just announced 480 frames per second, I'm blown away. I'm like, oh, why did I sell that stupid piece of shit? Not that I sold it or have a video coming on why I sold it. I would get the 33 mil 1.4. That's unique, kind of. It's like a 50 mil 22. It's not that unique at all. It's no Zeiss 1.8, but I bet it's magical. I would, I would like it. And also to vlog, there's nothing. I've debated it over and over. You know what I just realized? That Viltrox 13mm 1.4 is gonna come out and I'm not gonna be able to try it. We've been waiting two years. And finally, it's gonna be ready. We got it. It's on the way to you, buddy. You still have a Fuji camera, right? Oh, man. Uh, who's selling a X-T1? Help. So Fuji's bullshit, they have nothing. When it comes to Panasonic, they have a couple. Let me just tell you, 25 mil, 1.4, it's a Leica. My biggest regret in life, I had it. I had it in my hands. I had just bought the G85. I was in a coffee shop meeting somebody. They were selling it used, good deal, 425 I think. I test that thing, couldn't believe the Tony Balls. There was Christmas lights back there. I was like, wow, that's magic. How come it looks so good? I should buy this. I'm just wondering though, Maybe the Mitocon Chinese manufacturer has a 0 0.95 lens. It might be more Tony balls. You can't trust a Panasonic autofocus. This is a manual focus lens. It'll be easier to manually focus. What I didn't know was you could tap and move. You could just tap and move. I could have just been there. I could have used the app. Just boop. I'm in like a pop. Take that, <laughs> under a thousand bucks. <laughs> I didn't buy it and I live with that. That's on me. I take that one to the grave or my cremation area where you spread my ashes in a litter box. I don't care. I would buy that lens. Just, I was just research, I just saw it. I tell you, I have bad karma with this lens. I just saw it for 350 and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. For the good old days, we can finally have the lens. Just let's go for it. Who cares if I'll like it or not? Just do it. That's a cheap price, cheaper than it was back in the day. So I'm debating it and I'm like, maybe the Olympus 25mm 1.2 is better. So I do some comparisons and it is much better, but it's so much more money. I was like, okay, maybe I'll get that one. All this brewing of thoughts took time. And then he sold the Leica lens. And now there's nothing. I saw one guy selling it with an Olympus lens and or with an Olympus camera. And I was like, how much for the Leica? He's like, 450. It's like, you piece of shit. I just lost a hundred dollars. So I haven't pounced, but I'll never know what that lens looks like now. Oh man. I have seen the 1.2 Olympus for 950. I don't know if I can do it. It doesn't have the 3D Leica pop, but if you're getting into Panasonic for some reason, you get that Leica. 25mm 1.4, whatever. You have to use your app or tap and run back to your seat and hope that you have enough time. It's like an obstacle course. I believe in you. 
Also, the 15 mil 1.7, that's magic. Because it's so small, autofocus on that thing is bullshit, but you just tap and lock. You can vlog with it if you really extend it out there, especially on that Viva that you're on right now. What a tripod, that thing. Wow. How far could we move you back and still get the pop? Let's do it. Oh, the pop is with us. So those are my two lenses that I would get for Panasonic. Like, they're unique. There's nothing like that. A 30 mil 3.6. But being so tiny and having the Leica Magic, there it is. There's nothing else, really, for Micro Four Thirds Panasonic, at least. They would be like, wow. I need that thing. But Panasonic full frame, it's that 18 mil 1.8. I just made the video talking about it, gushing over it. That's unique. It's a little wider than the Sony. It might be amazing. Could be bullshit, but tap and track and you're good. Panasonic has no real magic lens for the full frame yet. The 18 mil seems unique. I would probably get the 50 mil 1.4 just because it's so magic looking, but couldn't trust that thing to autofocus, although it did work pretty well on the S1H back in the day. So that thing might be the secret. If you're with a Panasonic system, you need the Panasonic lens, then you have a chance. Then depth from defocus focuses on the depth point from the focal point, and then the depth is analyzed and then you're good. Saving the best for last, of course, Olympus, which is no longer side rant, slight side rant here. Ohm system, OM system. That's the worst name of all the camera companies now. Everyone else is a mountain, some mystical shit. You were a mountain, now you're ohm system. You sound like a tech, digital, like, fucking marketing analyst team of fucking losers who haven't had sex. The word system should never be anywhere close to your title. That should be a background check, you drug-smuggling narc. The, a system? Ohm system? It's the dumbest. I'm gonna feel embarrassed to say it. And I love Olympus. They're the one camera that blew me away. System? Why couldn't you just have been Sapphire? Like my company. Olympus. They have several unique lenses. Only to them. The 12 mil Tony 2. It's so tiny. Ultimate vlogging thing. It's wide enough if you stick it out there. Good autofocus. Manual focus clutch on it. Little square lens hood. It's a third party thing. It works. That, that's a super light lens. The 9 to 18. Now, I'm not saying I made a trade with somebody for my Fuji kit lens and it's on its way here. I'm not. I would never say that. But it could be. And the reasons it might be. That's a 18 to 36 zero tone lens. It's a GoPro style mirrorless lens lightest thing you could ever get 150 grams like imagine having a zoom range that weighed nothing more than a pickle on a piece of bread i'll be honest with you i think i'm gonna hate the lens and the 12 mil tony 2 is better in every way i'm prepared for that future possibility but it could be nice little compression there 35 mil set it down move back oh look at me i'm in a movie no you're not the 25mm 1.2, it has what is known as feathered tonne. When you make the tonne smoother than its original intention, that's when magic happens, feathering, if you will. I just, I want to see it. Some lenses, like the Canon 85mm 1.2, has this unique version that has the apo element, but it, it loses some light to make the tonne smooth. This one doesn't. It does it differently. That could be unique. It's no like a 25mm 1.4 if you ever had the choice. You throw the 1.2 in the trash. You go like all the way. Even though it's a worse lens in every way, every measurable stat is against you. But you go for it. The 150 to 400, I mean, it's expensive, but there's nothing like it. It has a built in 1.4 teleconverter. We're talking 300 to 800 with an extra 1.4 if you needed it. And Olympus stabilization, it's got sync stabe, IBIS and lens working together. It's lighter than most of like full frame telephoto shit. Can you imagine it? I can't. If you were a wildlife filmographer, 
I don't think you would look elsewhere. That's like the ultimate weather sealed pack, most stable, lightest kit you could get. Like that's a reason to buy into that system for that lens. If you like birds and dinosaurs, dinosaurs don't exist. You've been lied to 12 to 200. That was unique. I'm sure. I've returned it, but it's because the zoom was so stiff. That was a bad copy. Olympus, you had one chance to win my heart, you lost it. So if it was smoother, that's very unique. 24 to 400. You can vlog and get some things that are mildly far away from you. Like a Robin running. He'll be this big in the shot. But there's a market for it. I moved you. Not only physically with the camera, but emotionally. Let me know your favorite lens. What did I miss? Is there a lens that you're just dying for? Like, wow, I would buy into that system for that lens. What's your dream lens? Post it down below and I will give you an affiliate link for it. What a strategy that was. Thank you for shopping around. Camera Conspiracies t-shirt now available. Thumbing ups are good. Bigfoot subscribed to me. How come you didn't?